Hi, this is Dr. Don again, and this is the second video we have about creating histograms for my stat lab problems using StatCrunch and Excel. As you may remember from the previous video, and there's a link below to it, that when my stat lab has both StatCrunch and Excel available, the solutions, the correct solutions, generally follow the defaults of StatCrunch. And that's particularly true here for histograms because Excel and StatCrunch defaults for histograms are different. So I'm going to walk you through this problem. Remember, it is one where we're given a data set and we're asked to create three histograms, frequency histograms, with 5, 10, and 20 classes. And remember, I've gone ahead and created screenshots of the solutions, and then we use those to come up with the correct solutions for StatCrunch. Now let's jump in to Excel. We're in the Excel workbook, the worksheet with the data over here. I've pasted in the image of the stat cut solution. Remember, we match that to the correct solution, and we know that the My Stat Lab will default to what StatCrunch produces. Recall that we were very interested in the lower and upper bin limits, and in StatCrunch, we have a bracket on the left side, the lower side, which tells us that's a closed limit and it includes the one in this case, the, the value next to it. The upper limit, the right limit, has a parentheses, which is an open bracket or open uh, limit, and therefore the four falls into the next bin. So that's what we've got to match with Excel. Let's start by selecting our data, going to Insert, Recommended Chart. Let's go to All Chart. Find Histogram, and just double-click on that to select it. And that's our basic histogram. The default for the Excel histogram chart is three bins. And of course, we want five bins. So how do we get there? One way is to left-click on the Y-axis, and then right-click and go to Format Axis. And we get a menu that opens up on the right side here, and here are our bin options. Automatic, we don't want that. Let's try the number of bins, and I want to put in five and hit enter. And then we're going to close this, and my goodness, that matched pretty well, doesn't it? it we've got one, two, three, four, five bins, and it looks like this one. So here we've lucked out a bit, and if we look at our bin limits, we can see why. You can see that Excel defaults to closed close. So that means the one is in the first bin, and the upper limit, 3.8, is in the first bin. And then after that, we've got open left, close right, all the way there. Notice that the bin width of 2.8 was what Excel used because we did that arithmetic, right? 5 into 14 gives us 2.8. That's what Excel used. It doesn't round up to the next integer, and that's the problem here. So we want to go back and change this again to make sure it works for whatever data set we have. We got lucky this time. I'm going to click on that axis again, right-click to Format Axis, and this time we're going to go to Bin Width, and we want to start with this stat crunch standard of rounding up to the integer. And I'm going to put 3 in and hit enter. Close this so we can see again. And now it doesn't match. But if we look at our limits, we can see it goes to 1 to 4. And 4 is included in this first bin. We want it in the second bin. So what I found works pretty well I'm going to go back here, right-click, Format Axis again, and instead of putting in 3.0, which is my rounded, I'm going to 
finesse this a bit, and I found that if I put in a value that's close to that but smaller, that'll force that integer into the next bin. So I'm going to put in 2.999, hit enter, and then close this, and we can see now it matches. And we can also pretty this up to double check by adding our data labels, and then we, we, we checked against the stat crunch, we'd see it match the 5755553. So that worked pretty well for the five uh, classes, five bins. Let's change it now. And all we have to do is to click again to select the axis, format axis. And now we want to go up to the 10. And remember, its width was 2, but we're going to, again, finesse that down to 1.999 and hit enter and close. And we can inspect and see that here it was one to three. So the three would be in the second bin. And here we forced it to 1.29999, which means the three falls in the next bin. And then generally, because we're so close to that three, you should work out pretty well, particularly when you have integer values. If you had values with a lot of decimals, you would probably want to make this 1.999999. You know, the more decimals you have in your data, the more decimals you would need when you do this finessing. So that works out for our second chart with 10 bins. We just repeat that again. I'm going to right-click, Format Axis, and this time I'm just going to put in 0.999 enter and by inspecting the stat crunt solution for 20 classes we can see that we have a match of the pattern and that's all you need for getting the right answer in my stat lab on these kinds of problems i hope this helps